Well, today we are at the big Goodwill as opposed to the magical Goodwill. If we are about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Dagny is already here. She is inside waiting for us patiently in the book section because she doesn't want an unfair advantage. <laughs> So let's head in and see what we can find. Here we go. So Dagny had picked up this interesting piece of art glass. I see a lot of these shaped like swans. And in this case, I think it looks like a resting swan. She also found this little pillbox with a cat on the lid. And that was all she'd gotten so far. Now I did look through the purses and I spotted this purse. I liked the design on the front. It felt to be leather it was $4.99 there were no markings on the inside but I did like the shape of it it was kind of like a canteen style shape and um, so I did end up grabbing this the the hair on the front felt to be real so I'm I'm just not really sure about this one but I liked the design of it so for $4.99 I'll take a chance on it now we rounded the corner there and I spotted a few things I liked. First of all, this pitcher from West Germany. I loved the glaze and the texture of that. So I stuck that in my cart. We also noticed this. Dagny actually noticed it first and then I was like, oh, well, will you look at that? It was $3.99. There was a marking on the bottom. I thought that maybe this was going to be a gym beam decanter, but it was not. It was actually nicer than that um, there was some chipping there on the end of the wing you can see that however it wasn't a terrible repair and so that's one of the things I look at when I do buy things that have been repaired is how good is the repair in this case it was pretty good so I did decide to grab this for a few dollars and see what I could do with it Dagny found a stein and a few little swans there on the shelf. The stein said Old Germany and there were some markings on the bottom. Limited edition, I believe is what it said. Only not in English. And there was paperwork inside. So there was a certificate of authenticity. And uh, so that was, that was great. Certificate of ownership even. Fortunately, that vase there did have a chip on it. I found this, and it kind of blended in with the shelf. It was a little bit camouflaged, but you can see on the bottom there, it is marked Limoges, France. And it was a satin bisque finish. It had cherubs on the lid. I even threw the tag on the ground. I was so excited. Um, but I did end up grabbing this little trinket box. The clasp on it was good. It opened and shut. Now Dagny's daughter collects these little things and so I grabbed this but I don't think it's one that her daughter really would be interested in. The last one I bought for her daughter was a Pooh Bear and she likes the Pooh Bear but the, the couple kissing really isn't, isn't a thing. So we continue. I found the praying hands today and I won the game because those were the only pair of praying hands that we found. And for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt that we play. Certain items you get points for. It's maybe a little weird. Dagny found this little cart and um, unfortunately there was a chip on the edge. You can see there. These here are Blanco glass. They are lotus salad bowls, and I have bought and sold these in the past uh, in cobalt, but this color was interesting. It was kind of a very pale blue, so I did decide to grab these. They usually sell for 8 to $10 a piece. Considering there was a whole set of them, I was pretty excited. I did look for the master bowl on the shelves, but I could not find it, so that was a little bit disappointing because there would have been a a master bowl and then the little salad bowls but I was pretty pleased with that find. I was surprised to find that on the shelf. They're they are selling Germex at a very reasonable price nonetheless. 
you know, two ninety nine. Back in the day, that Germex price was like a hundred bucks for a bottle like that. <laughs> it was probably donated by somebody who was and and planning on capitalizing on the rise in sanitizer costs, and then they had to donate it to the Goodwill. There was a piece of art glass up here. It was $4.99, and it just did not strike me as being anything fancy. It was a nice piece of art glass, but it was not a nice piece of art glass, so I did leave that behind. These floral plates did catch my eye, but the marking on the bottom was not impressive enough. Now, I'm still attracted to single mugs, obviously. I still pick them up. I look them over. I consider putting them in my cart, but in this case, I put it back on the shelf and tell myself I don't need any more single mugs unless it's something really special. Dagny found a few little espresso cups there. As I was reaching down for the bottom shelf, I spotted this little planter. And it was marked on the bottom Rose Lane 266. And so I decided I need this planter. And I put that in my cart for $3.99. There were no chips or cracks, which was pretty impressive. Now Dagny did find something very special. She found these Mr. Toodles Left in Salt and Pepper shakers, which are pretty impressive. They sell for about $45 to $50. So that was a pretty sweet find. And finally, down on the bottom shelf, there was an entire box of blue willow patterned china. Uh, you can see that one is marked willow wear. There was a lot of it. There were a few teapots, there were some miniature children's cups, and there was creamers and sugars and salt and pepper shakers and the entire box was only $9.99. I felt like that was a really good deal for what was there and so I decided to grab it. This caught my eye because of the glazing and when I looked closer I realized it was mushrooms but it was also a souvenir piece. It was $1.99. I suspect this could either be Blue Mountain Pottery or Canuck Pottery, one or the other. I'm not positive on that but I did pass on it because it was a souvenir piece. Occasionally I'll pick up a souvenir piece, but more times than not, I leave them behind. I did take a peek at this stein just to see if there was any markings on the bottom, but obviously the bottom is covered with felt. On the top shelf, there was a bottle. Uh, Andrew is very, very good with bottles, and so occasionally when I find a bottle for cheap and it looks like it could be old, I will grab it. So this was only $3.99 or $2.99. And I decided to grab this. He did say that this is probably a European bottle, and he's not really sure about it. But I only paid $2.99 for it, so it's all good. <laughs> Down here is a really cute candle. It was $1.99, and it was adorable, $1.99. It looked to be a dachshund puppy, and I decided that I would definitely want that in my cart, and so I put it in my cart. When I spotted this, I thought immediately of Andrew. He is, in essence, a trained nerd. That's what we call call them. Um, we live across the street from railroad tracks, and they park their cars and watch the trains. So Andrew is right there with them. And I saw this and it made me think of Andrew, so I decided that I would get this for him. And then I found another puppy and it was absolutely adorable. It kind of wanted to jump out of the cart and I was trying to convince it to stay inside the cart. It was so cute, so sweet. This little jacket. There's your daily dose of cuteness right there, brought to you by Goodwill. <laughs> Dagny found a crafting broom, and she said that her mother used to have one, and it was always shedding everywhere. <laughs> the puppy's just chilling. 
there were a few little houses here on the shelf. I thought maybe they were Department 56. When I turned them over, I discovered that they were actually Prince's House. I believe that's what they were. They were Prince's House. So they were, they were pretty neat. Unfortunately, this one did have some chipping there. Little Avon perfume or ointment of some sort. I don't usually pick up Avon. Although I have heard that it's making a comeback, so maybe I will consider. I noticed this vase on the shelf, and I did like the glaze of it. You can see there is a sticker on the bottom. Unfortunately, there was a giant chip. That plate I've looked at before, and it's not Fitz and Floyd. Dagny found an adorable little owl ashtray. I suspect it could be Otagiri, but I'm not positive on that. In any case, it was absolutely adorable. And I spotted this thing. And it reminded me of a little planter box that I had picked up a few months ago at the Goodwill. It had that same stone technique used. And it was neat, but it was very large and heavy. I could not imagine Walter ever in a million years being excited to ship that or a buyer wanting to pay for shipping on that. Dagny found some artwork near the bottom shelf and we were looking closely at these to see if they were prints or if they were original artwork. Eventually we did come to the conclusion that these were likely prints even though it was hard to tell when they were framed and matted and all of that but they were nice. I found a cat, a black cat, and it was very mid-century looking. I loved the look of it. It looks like possibly a homemade project, but it was really cool. Very mid-century. This was curious, and I wasn't sure exactly what this was. I assume it was probably a decor piece of some sort, but it just looked like a a giant horn. I was very confused by it. It was very heavy, so I'm not sure exactly what was going on there. It was not a toy. It was a decorative piece. Some designer designed that, and it was probably worth a lot of money when it was sold. This little vase, I looked to see if it was cloisonné, and it was not. We've got a bunch of electronics piled in a giant box. There's that scary sconce. <laughs> I looked at this to see if it was wood and it was actually a metal piece. Now I browsed through the purses just to see what was there. You guys know I am not an expert on purses. I am still learning purses. I feel like I have to say that every video just as a disclaimer, but I did look through these. That frill bag, I liked the birds on it, of course, but the texture made me think of a diaper bag because I've had two kids and I know what the texture of a diaper bag is. I did find this fossil purse. The last time I passed up a fossil purse, it was insanity in the comments letting me know that I had, I had passed up on something good. And this time, I did not make the same mistake. I grabbed the fossil bag, and I stuck it right in my cart. So now I have a fossil bag. Now they did wheel out a fresh cart, and they left it right there in the aisle. So Dagny and I decided to poke around a little bit in the cart. Look at that. There's another fossil purse. Just like that. Now I have two. I've redeemed myself. This pot right here, I liked that it was hand-painted with strawberries. I thought that that was a nice touch. It would look good in like a country kitchen. And so I did grab this. There were some women walking by with a baby, and the baby was absolutely adorable, so we were chit-chatting with them. But <laughs> Dagny found this baby plate. Unfortunately, this planter did have a chip on the bottom. I found some figurines 
on the end of the shelf there. This one was only 99 cents. I pick up cheap figurines when I find them and there's no damage on them because every little bit adds up. And so even though there might not be a huge turnaround on it, I like I like those little things in my shop. Now, there was some damage on the bluebird, but the goldfinch, I believe it's a goldfinch, did not have any damage. And it was also 99 cents. So I stuck that in my cart. And I couldn't leave the ship behind. The ship was pretty cool. I know people collect the shell art. There were some glass plates down here with an interesting pattern I'm not familiar with. Because I'm not familiar with the pattern, I left those behind. Now this bowl here had a Bolaconte technique. You can see the controlled bubbles there, and it did have a sticker. The sticker said made in China, and even at $2.99, I just decided that I did not need the console bowl. Unfortunately, this teapot that once had a lid, because we looked at it in previous videos, is now lidless. There is a lid conspiracy happening, and we will get to the bottom of it. It probably just fell off and broke, if I'm being honest. Now, Danny was looking at the hobbyist pieces. This one was very nice, but it looked like they camouflaged the eggs. I found a kaleidoscope. A lot of people ask me if I ever regret leaving anything behind. One thing I regret is leaving a kaleidoscope behind one time because I looked it up after the fact when I was editing the video and it sold for upwards of $200. So now I always look at kaleidoscopes. There was some artwork on the bottom shelf. It was a country barn scene with fall colors. The combination of the fall colors and the country scene usually gets me if you haven't picked up on that yet when I look at artwork. You throw some fall colors on that artwork, and I will probably be taking it home with me. This was nice. Unfortunately, there was a chip on it. It was California pottery, but the chip was no good. So there you can see it. It is signed by Gunkel. But I liked it, and I took it with me. Now, unfortunately, there would have been a lid to this, I believe, and wherever it was, I do not know. This one had a little damage on it. It was Masterpieces Porcelain by Homeco. The last time we were at this Goodwill, there was a pair of bunnies that were also Masterpiece Porcelain. We took one more pass through the clear glass, and I noticed this, which I had not noticed the previous time we went down the aisle it, there were no chips no cracks not even flea bites along the edge and I thought this was perfect and I might hold on to this and give it to my father for Father's Day hopefully he doesn't watch this video these were really nicely done and I'm not sure who makes them they were $1.99 for all of them unfortunately as you can see there is chipping on almost every single one of them so I did have to leave those behind but I just thought that they they had a quality about them now I picked up something I'd never picked up before. I picked up an incense burner. It was $1.99 and I just loved the snakes. I thought the snakes were great. They had little beads for eyes and they were kind of cute. I mean, I'm not a fan of snakes. Snakes kind of freak me out, but those were really cute snakes. So I will make an exception for those snakes. This was marked Italy. I was looking for any hallmarks indicators that it could be sterling obviously there were none on there and we've got a bell it's kind of an ornate bell with the peacocks on it looking there again for any hallmarks any markings i have found sterling in the thrift stores before so i usually at least check so they wheeled out some new carts and this was on one of the carts and i thought that it looked ornate it looked hand knotted and I thought it was maybe something special. And so I decided to stick it in my cart without fully knowing who made it or where it comes from. So if you know, let me know in the comments. But I paid $2.99 for it and it passed Dagny sniff test. There were some calculators on the shelves. 
Now, I know there's a lot of resellers who buy these to flip them for a profit, and I think that's probably why they caught my attention, but I decided to grab these and donate them to the school. I do that from time to time. Uh, Dagny found a restaurant wear piece, and it was marked on the bottom, something hospital, and so that, that was probably taken from the hospital. Somebody took that as a souvenir from their hospital stay. All right, well, our total spend today was $99. Uh, I feel like we did pretty well on the way out. Right after I checked out, someone approached me and wanted to purchase the rug that I got. So I don't know. It might be something good. I'm kind of excited for that. Um, I, d I did not sell it. I ended up keeping it. Uh, but I'm excited to find out what exactly it is. So if you know, let me know in the comments. And I will see all of you tomorrow. We are off to another Goodwill about an hour from here. So... I will see you then. All right, later.